when we uh, say stereometry, we think of the human body reduced to, actually, I'm going to show you from the book, it's easier, reduced to basic volumes um, like this, right? Like this. How are these um, um, obtained? They're obtained by finding the maximum height, maximum depth, I'm sorry, width, and maximum depth of each segment of the body and creating a volume that contains it. Why, uh, what is the use of this? The use is that we can um, measure the body in a more um, objective way. We can reduce it to simple um, uh, puppets, like figure like this. We can draw it much faster and we can extrapolate, for example, the uh, effect of the light on the form much more easily, right? So eventually we can also create uh, works like um, quick sketches like this one, right? Like this one, like this one. The advantage is that you can do this from uh, imagination more easily because uh, you know how big one part of the body is in relation to the other one. Um, you don't need to worry about the nostrils, the ears, the nipples, whatnot. You just block in the main volume. They're going to be proportioned because you know the proportional relationship, right? So that is the next uh, the next uh, aspect that we're going to look at. Propor